game report. Let's go to Doris Burke. Kevin, for the job this road team has done, they get our Sprite Spark Award. It seems they went into the locker room and came out with some answers because their defense has been airtight in this last half. The whole atmosphere of the game changed with their lockdown defense. Let's see if it continues. All right, Doris, thank you. That run was a critical stretch, Clark, of the game. It sure was. I mean, once the pilot light was lit, they didn't let up. <laughs> well, offensively, it all came together for them, Clark, and it really allowed them to kind of take control of the game at that point. Shoots from the high post. Good. You start hitting a few of those mid-range shots, and it can open up your whole game. This is off the right iron. Yeah, no excuses there. Got a really good look at the basket after being freed up by the pick. We say it all the time. The execution was excellent. The result not as good. But good ball movement anyway. Well, they've got to do something defensively because he's been unstoppable. And defensively, Steve, your only choice now is to double him. I mean, I don't think there's another option. Terrific design on the pick play. And he lays it in. Great pick. And that gave him enough space to get to the hoop and finish. Pushes up. Banked in off the glass. Now you can't give him any space out there. Ball's knocked loose. So a break. Straight up. Drops in the breakaway layup. Boy, both teams showing a lot of hustle, Clark. Steve, especially since halftime. I mean, they're flying around out there, giving up a lot of energy and putting together a pretty good show. It's up a three, gets it to go. He's putting on a commanding performance here. He's hit two three-pointers in each half now. Six on the shot clock. It's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Here's Lee. Offline. And in on the way. They got the ball into the ideal position, and he didn't flub the finish that time, guys. Backing him down. But three gets it to go. He's got 21. Now, the thing you notice, you look at the stat sheet, they have a lot more assists. That's been a factor. Yeah, I like the fact they're moving the ball. Less ISOs, more ball movement, more player movement. It's a fun style to watch, commentate, and to play. Let's the three fly, and that one's good. And he gets a three of his own. Good answer there. Yeah, and he's not scared to trade shots like that. To the middle. Four on the shot clock to answer back but that three is off the mark and i think whichever team starts to dominate the glass could really take control of this game i won't disagree with you i mean it's so tight between these teams right now on the board that um, you're just waiting to see which team might pull away from 20 feet out and it's a little long takes it up it's in that's how it works your defense feeds into the offense yeah, you know, excellent work, I thought. Solid work on both ends in that particular sequence. Here's Lee. 151 left to play in the final quarter. Backs him down. Shoots from 12. Green for two points. He's starting to pick up his game in this half. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. I was able to listen in on the 
head coach talking to his team. He gave his guys the green light to keep firing from downtown, telling them, listen, I like the work you're doing out there. Keep finding those gaps on the perimeter. They're giving us open shots. Sinks that one from the post. As if there was any question, Kev. He's just not phased by the pressure. He stays focused and always makes big plays. Fires from deep. The shot will not go. They're just three points away from tying this game up. Boy, they need this one. Gets it to go. Just an unbelievable display of offense here today. Well, it seems like every shot that goes up finds its way to the hoop. I mean, every player is sharp and on target. And no problem at the line here for the three-point play. Big play there, Kevin. That made a big difference with the game in the battle. Here's Lee. The turnovers have upticked for them. They can't afford to let their concentration lapse here. Puts it up. It's good. Big time shot. Really clutch. Less than one minute left. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Can they get it? It's money from deep. Tell you what, he's training the three ball at will, guys. Yeah, he is, and they got to find a way to get out there on it. Back and down. Off target at the rim. Tell you what, the defense wasn't backing down there because usually he can use his strength to fight through contact. Shot clock at six. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Boy, in a close game especially, those plays really hurt. Guys, your thoughts? It's game time now, Kevin. Down one. They've got enough time to make a couple of passes here to find the open man. But they've got to bury the shot to win the game. shot no good the visiting club takes the win on the road it was tight but they managed to come up with the win you know nobody wants to lose a close game kevin it's much better to win those tight ones and now for clark kellogg steve kerr and doris burke this is kevin harlan thanking you for joining us tonight in our